Arthur, The Black Dog by Sebastian Bonchkiewicz. With Ben Wishaw as Arthur, Ian McDermott as Merlin, and Jane Lapater as the narrator. Merlin. Is there any news? The King's tent is empty. The search party's riding out now. And he said nothing to you? Nothing. No indication that he might go? Impossible, as now it seems. Those first few days of the boy King's reign were not the easiest. Who have you sent out? Just his guard. Indeed, my sisters and brothers. They could almost be described as... We have to keep this quiet, you understand? Yes, my Lord High Wizard. Utterly disastrous. The troops must suspect nothing. Merlin! Oh, no. My Lord Lot! What in the name of the gods is going on? Deal with this, Bedvia. What? Just deal with it. You'll have to excuse me, my lord. Where is he going? The king's urgent business. So where is he, then? The Wonder Boy. If you're referring to the king... And when's he going to meet his warlords? I've been here five days. Oh, perhaps we could... When? Very soon, I'm sure. And where are all these riders going? They're on reconnaissance at this time of night. I'm really sorry, my lord, but that's all I know. If you'll excuse me. I won't be insulted, you know. I won't be played for a fool! All night, the riders search. That's a rhyme of beauty. Shh. There's nothing to be afraid of. And all night, the wizard walks and listens, listens and walks. I'm back, girl. It's all right. I won't hurt you. Until in the hard, cold light of a March dawn... Thought I'd find you here. I'm not talking to you, wizard. You had us all worried. You deaf. Search parties riding out in the middle of the night. It's been quite the hullabaloo. You can save your breath. Still, it has the makings of a beautiful day, wouldn't you say? I'm not coming back. <sighs> this is like old times, isn't it? You and me on the hillside, whiling away an hour or two. You should never have put all that stuff in my head. Shouldn't I? I was meant to look after Lord Ector's horses, not rule kingdoms. Ruling kingdoms was never for me. I thought you were doing rather well. Then tell me why Lord Ector had to die. Ector did what he could to protect his king. And his son? What about Keir? Keir fights with Bryce. Who also wants my head on a stick. Then we'll have to make sure he doesn't get it, won't we? If I was Keir, I'd want me dead too. Ector's death was not your fault. It's all my fault and there's only one way of stopping it. And that is? Disappearing. Disappearing? Where? Somewhere far away. Your place is leading your men. No. Men who have travelled from all over the kingdom to serve their king. Well, you can stuff your sword back in the stone and wait for some other stable boy fool enough to come along and claim it. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do that. I'm not going back with you and there's nothing you can say to change my mind. Very well. Where are you going? Back to camp. Someone has to break the bad news to your men. You'd leave me here. It's clearly what you want. Ah, Merlin, up to your old tricks again. You'd really go? If you're prepared to give up all the gods have bestowed upon you, well... But let's have some reintroductions. She who stands before you, you may address as Morgan, the once and future sorceress, and the only teller of this tragic tale who can be relied upon to be accurate in every particular, meticulous in every detail, I, Morgan, sister to the king, true witness to his every deed. Wait. Yes? And those two down there, as you may already have gleaned, are the great wizard Merlin and his ever-reluctant protégé, my brother, the king. Has Bryce claimed the crown? Not as yet. But when he sees that he fights an army without a king... We can't defeat him, you know. Arthur, with the sword of the king, you can do anything. What do I know about leading men into battle? I don't know. What do you know? Nothing! I keep telling you! Trust the gods. What is this thing you keep drawing out in me? Your destiny. I don't want this destiny. You are the gods elect. All Britain bows before you, and tomorrow... Oh, I'm tired of this. Goodbye. Tomorrow what? Tomorrow more than 3,000 men are prepared to lay down their lives for you. I never asked them to. No, boy, you didn't. 
And if we lose tomorrow? We won't lose. You don't know that. I do know that. Why do you keep saying these things to me? Because you know they're true. I don't. Then I suggest you start attending to the voice inside you that compelled you to seek me out in London, that compelled you to draw the sword from the stone, and that compels you to listen to what I'm saying to you now. And if I come back with you? Then you must be prepared to fight the battle of your life. Where is Bryce's army now? Gathering beside the great stones. I can't let him win, can I? That's entirely up to you. Disappeared? So our spies report. Disappeared how? He ran away. This is a trick here. No, Bryce, it isn't. There's been no sign of him, and the word from his camp is his soldiers are talking rebellion, huh? And the wizard? What well, word of the wizard? Merlin's disappeared too. Bedvere and the rest of his lieutenants are forbidding anyone to speak of it. Ah, the stable boy might have run, but Merlin? No. Assemble all our commanders in my tent. I'll see him there now. My Lord Bryce? What? Our agreement? What about it? You promised me the stable boy's head for my father. You said yourself he's run away. Then let me take a party of men and hunt him down. Impossible. We had an agreement. I'm not debating this with you, Keir. But you gave this your word. This army marches under me. Either you march with it, or you take your chances elsewhere. The king will see Lot of Orkney. The king is not to be disturbed. Have you any idea what the men are whispering in the camp? They're saying this wonder boy of yours has disappeared. Please, Lot, get out of my see. way. Tell the king I'm here. I'm ready Lot to... Lot of Orkney. Please accept my humblest apology for not greeting you sooner. Majesty. Majesty. I am Arthur, son of Uther, Lord of Dragons. You're who? Something wrong with your hearing, my lord. Majesty, the infantry division is ready to advance. What's going on here, my lord high wizard? I think you should kneel before your king, Lot. Well, perhaps the king here has not noticed that we are on the brink of battle and none of his warlords has any idea as to his strategy. Never doubt that I value your loyalty, Lot of Orkney, but I will not tolerate disrespect. Well then, Arthur, son of Uther, Lord of Dragons, I hope you have something spectacular to tell me before I lead a thousand men to their deaths. Please don't provoke me, my lord. Am I supposed to do the bidding of some beardless boy in the name of the gods, Merlin? Ah, Lot, I think... This beardless boy is your king, Lot of Orkney. And if you do not wish to die right now in dishonour, then I suggest you do exactly as I bid you. Then bid me. You are to lead a division of men behind Bryce's army. With the gods' help, you'll cut off their supplies. The battle will be over before I get there. If this is not something you feel able to do, then I suggest you leave camp and return to Orkney. Are you going to let him speak to me like that, Merlin? You heard the king, Lot. Have my horses prepared. Our scouts can show you the best way. And may the gods grant us victory today. Tonight we shall feast together in victory. I sincerely hope so, Arthur, son of Uther. Lord of Dragons. Go with him, Bedvere. Majesty. That went well. You spoke as a king. Is Lot the one with the pretty young wife? He fought with Uther, and he's no friend of Bryce, and as for his wife, you leave her well alone. I was only saying. All the warriors are speaking of her. She is to be left alone, as befits the wife of one of your commanders. Now, are you ready for battle? I feel sick, Merlin. Good. <laughs> And now the wheel turns, my sisters and brothers, as men once again square up to men on vast fields of buttercups and daisies, hungering for a taste of the old brouhaha. We attack on my signal. <laughs> and may the gods make us merciful in victory. Aye. We haven't won yet, wizard. Oh, the gods will not you. fail us. Promise me, Merlin. Yes, Arthur. If I am struck down on the field, you'll find me and finish me. There'll be no need to make that promise. You can't know that. I knew you were the one from the very first. I only hope that you're right, wizard, for all our sakes. 
Why are they calling me? They need to see their king. What should I do? You know what to do. Behold, my brothers, the sword of the king. We do the gods' work today. And of course, no sooner does baby brother grasp the sword than he surrenders himself entirely to its power. Charge! The overwhelming power of the sword of the king. But let's not bore ourselves, my sisters and brothers, with dreadful descriptions of the entirely predictable carnage that follows in the shadow of those ancient stones. As Arthur screams his army down Bryce's throat, and Bryce's men are blown away like a handful of daisy heads on the bloody breeze. The retreat, your majesty! Bryce's men are pulling back! No survivors, Bedbeer! For majesty, they're retreating! Britain demands vengeance! Go on there! And as these are the words of the king, these are the actions of his generals. Cut them down! Cut them all down! Heads. 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 And more heads. Until there's barely a rebel left with anything but air above his shoulders. Did you see me today, Merlin? Did you see me? No, oh, Arthur, I saw a king. <laughs> we smashed them, didn't we? <laughs> we did, but The sword! Did you see the sword? <laughs> it flew through the battle. Here comes one man. Oh! Here comes another. Oh! Now perhaps you have some understanding of its power. Even when my eyes were soaked with dead men's blood, it still knew where to strike. With it, you are invincible. You're saying I can't be hurt? That is the god's gift to you. Hey! It's not a gift to be accepted lightly, Majesty. The sword is a sword of justice above all things. Please don't get all wise and wizardy on me, Merlin. Not today. Forgive me, Majesty. What is it, Bedvere? We found no trace of either Kira or Bryce. Nothing? Nothing. But we have their army on the run. In which direction? Oh, in every direction. Then send more men to hunt them down. Especially Bryce. I want Bryce. You can't hunt them all down just to find two men. Don't tell your king what he can and cannot do. But Arthur... No but it... Arthurs. I want those traitors found. I want their heads on my shield. Understood? Yes, Majesty. This is not wise. I want them to feel the earth burn beneath their feet. <laughs> and what should we do with the prisoners, Majesty? Kill them. Arthur, please leave us alone, Bedvere. Of course, Merlin. You're not going anywhere, Bedvere. No, Majesty. I want them all dead. Every single one of them. Understood? Majesty. Now you can go. And be sure and do exactly as I say. The sword of the king is a sword of justice. They shall have their justice. You can't kill all of them. I don't want to kill all of them, only my enemies. It is not just. Was it just for Lord Hector to be cut down in the street? Was it just that Bryce of Isca sought to steal the crown from me? You have the victory, Arthur. The kingdom is yours. Not while one of them lives. But, Arthur... I want them washed from this country like the blood from my hair. And for month after month, Baby Brother's army rampages through the land until soon there's not a village, not a fire, or a family not bereaved. Not that this was in any way worrying the king as he had his servants bring him the finest shoes and the brightest clothes fashioned from the richest materials, also that baby brother King could go a-courting, while his people shrieked and died in their hundreds and thousands. My love has gone walking, he spreads no offence. My love has gone walking. There's no record. My Lady Rio. Please, Majesty, we should not be talking alone. Says who? It is not fitting. The old Lord Lot has a very nice wife, and a very nice wife is she. I'll decide what's fitting, my lady. I did not mean to cause offence. In fact, she's without doubt the loveliest girl a boy king ever did see. Does that mean I can accompany you across the camp? You are the king? That's right. I am the king. So I can, can't I? <laughs> can what? Excuse me, my lady? You're confusing me. 
Who's the basket for? Lunch for my husband, Majesty. May I carry it? Majesty? The basket? It's no weight. I'll carry it, anyhow. A beautiful day, this. A good spring is promised. What's spring like in Orkney? Cold? Often warm. Unlike their women, hey. <laughs> I meant what I said to you last night. I must ask you not to speak of it again. But I've never felt... Majesty, I am married. And Lot must be three times your age. He has always been kind to me. I would be kind to you. Uh, may I go now, Majesty? I know that you love me. But that does not give us the right. I'm dying. Perhaps it's better that our hearts break. I can't breathe without you near me. Meet me tonight. That's impossible. Near the stones. You will dishonour us both. Marry me. Diana? We can't speak anymore. May the gods protect you, Majesty. My thanks, my lord. But you needn't kneel. That's kind, Majesty. The damp here plays havoc with my knees. I was on my way to the wizard when I saw the Lady Rhiannon. Then that would be my lunch you've got there. Ah, it would, here. Thank you, Majesty. I'm sure it will be delicious. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Of course, Majesty. Oh, yes, my lord. Majesty. I want you to lead another party of men up into the high barrows tonight. The barrows are completely clear. It won't hurt to be absolutely sure, will it? No, Majesty. What did he say to you, Rhiannon? He asked to accompany me across the camp. Nothing more? No, my lord. I don't want you talking to him. And if he talks to me? Tell him your husband's very jealous. And if that doesn't persuade him? Have I not always been kind to you? You know you have, my lord. Then do this for me and don't ask why. Stay away from the king. But if he comes looking for me... Avoid him. Take me with you tonight. You know that that's impossible. Then do something to protect me. Protect you? Protect you from what? You should never have brought me here. Protect you from what, Rhiannon? From myself. <laughs> But of course, as most of us know to our cost, my sisters and brothers, there's simply no conquering the unconquerable. She said that to you? To my face, wizard. What possessed you to bring her with you, Lot? I didn't want to leave her alone. But you know who Arthur's mother is. That's why I thought there would be no danger. But I tell you, if he wasn't who he is... We have to get her away. The king has sent me on some pointless patrol tonight. You think he means to strike? I knew it. And Rhiannon? I would do anything to protect her. Has she said anything to you? <sighs> the truth, Lot. The day I fear more than any other is upon me. Well? She said she... She loves him. You've got to get that boy under control, Merlin, before he pulls the country apart. It would have been better if you'd done Uther's bidding all those years ago. I don't kill children. Not for Uther. Not for anyone. They should never have met. They should never have brought her here. Then where were the gods with their warning? Well, what warning were they supposed to give, Lot? You know as well as I do, they share the same blood. Arthur must never know. We must find a way. We must find a way to get her out of here. We've got to save my girl, Merlin. We've got to save them both. It's just a little way further, Bryce. You go on here. I can't walk anymore. You can't just give up. The battle's lost. And you're going to allow yourself to die like a rat in this filthy ditch. If that is the God's wish. Try to walk. The poison from the wound has spread into my legs. I've no strength left. You were meant to be our king, Bryce. It was all vanity. And that's it? You choose to die? Arthur has his kingdom now. Arthur has gone insane. And he's Uther's son, all right. Shh. 
She is Lord Lot's wife, Arthur. She loves me, and I love her. And she is married. Then I will unmarry her. I am the king, and you can help me. I cannot help your majesty. What? Did I not make myself clear? You helped Uther so get a vein. Your father's circumstances were different. Lot's no Vortigern, is he? He's not going to raise an army against me. Rhiannon must leave this camp, and you must never see her again. How dare you give me an order? You forget yourself, Arthur. It is you who forgets himself. If this ridiculous obsession of yours were not enough, there are also the reports coming back from the country. What reports? Reports of villages burning. People walking the highways with neither food nor shelter. What people? Your people. Perhaps this time you paid a little less attention to yourself and a little more attention to the havoc you're wreaking on your country. My enemies must be destroyed. Not by killing half the population. You are my wizard and I am your king. Then I suggest you start behaving like one. I could have you killed for that. Do you threaten me too, Arthur? Of course not. Give her up, boy. For your own good. I can't. You would have been different, Bryce. You would have been a good king. Go home, Keir. Get as far away as you can. You think I'm afraid of the stable boy? I think he'll never rest until he sees us all dead. Please. Try to walk. It's no good. By all the gods. What's that? Whatever it is, it's none of this earth. This is Merlin's work. I don't think so. Why is nothing moving? Stay calm, Keir. <laughs> the black dog. Whatever it is, it means to kill us. If the black dog had meant to kill us, then we would be dead by now. The black dog? I can't see any dog. Look closely at the shadows. See the way it shifts and pulls. <gasps> By all the gods. What is it? All hail to you, Arthur. Even Uther never managed to unleash him. What are you saying? When the black dog appears, it's chaos he's Jason. And tonight he comes from me. No! No, my lord! Get away from here, Keir. Get as far away from here as you can. Stop what the gods have willed to happen. And we shouldn't have run from the wizard when he called you. I don't have to do everything he tells me. But he is Merlin. And I am his king. And he forgets himself with his meddling. Kiss me. No, oh, I should leave. I know I should leave. I will not permit it. My husband. I'll kill your husband. No, Majesty. I have to have you near me. You're not by spilling blood. And why did you come to me tonight, Rhiannon? They say that giants place these stones here to make a cradle for the sun. Could that be true, do you think? Rhiannon, why did you come to I me I had to see you, just once more. I won't let you go. There's no way we I'll We leave as soon as the territories to the north are secure. I will not permit it! Uh, I will not let you My go. lord. Shh. My lord. We have this night, my lord. Uh. We have this night. If only somehow I'd known then what I know now. 
I might have interfered, caused a monolith to stumble, made a cold, hard rain come stuttering down, done anything I could to prevent their hungry mouths and hands from meeting in the shadow of those oh-so-cold, indifferent stones. I don't know how long I've waited, how long I've dreamed. I know, my love. I know. Who knows, I might have prevented a catastrophe and saved a potentially perfect kingdom for a potentially perfect king. I might have stopped the dreadful wheel from turning right there with a single blink of an eye. But of course I knew nothing, did nothing. And who among us would give the consequence of a single kiss a second thought? Who calls upon the king? Keir of Cantia! And you can tell your king that the fox has come for the hunter! Does the hunter have the balls to meet the fox? You think I'm going to let Keir stand at our gates and insult me? It is our custom to show mercy to our enemies. It's not my custom. It would show the people you were just. Well, I'm not just. No, Arthur. I fear you are not. So? So? Aren't you going to forbid me? You are the king. That's right, wizard. I am the king and I have the sword. It's about time you started to remember that. You think this behaviour pleases the gods? I'm sure it pleases them very well. Don't do this, Arthur. Bring Keir in as your prisoner. Don't fight him. Be a laughing stock. Mercy will demonstrate wisdom. Mercy will demonstrate weakness. And of course the whole camp crowds out to witness the spectacle. But it's not as if anyone doubts upon whom the good odds are. You look smaller than you did, Aaron. You will address me as Arthur. Your king. It's not my practice to address servants at all. We're not on your father's farm anymore. And I need you to tell me that. Majesty. Is Bryce with you? Bryce of Iska lies dead in a ditch some ten miles west. Bedvere. My lord. Have men find the body as soon as this is done. Yes, Majesty. Lay down your sword, traitor. So that you can strike my head from my shoulders. I command you! I don't recognize the orders of tyrants. Then you leave me no choice but to come over and kill you where you stand. I am here for you. You can't defeat me, you know. My father's death is on your hands, Aaron. As are the deaths of thousands across the land, murdered by your savages. <laughs> Stable boy as tyrant. If it weren't so terrible, it would almost be funny. You will pay for that, Keir. You can take the boy out of the stable, but you can't take the stable out of the boy. Now you will know the king's true justice, Keir of Cadia. What's that? It's coming here. What's coming here? The black dog. What? And he comes for you. Why is nothing moving? Look! Boy! Look! For there, on the horizon, a distant dot at first, pounding across the plain. What's that ringing? What you've unleashed, tyrant. What's wrong, Majesty? Can't you see it? See what? I only hear this ringing. There! In those shadows! Majesty, are you all right? What are you? He comes for you! Why do you stand there, demon? Attack me! Attack me! <laughs> Lunging at shadows now, Aaron. Attack me! But now the sword of the king, so ancient and so long fought over... My sword! ...falls to pieces in his hands. Perhaps now you fight me! Majesty, look out! And as baby brother stares in horror at the falling shards of the once invincible sword of kingship, young Keir of Cantia, his keenest and bitterest enemy, plunges its jagged hilt deep beneath the boy king's ribs.
I'm sorry, my lady. The king is badly wounded. Just let me see him for a minute. Go back to your lodging. I'll send word. You will speak to me with courtesy, wizard. One minute. Will he die? Not if I can help it. Please, give him this silver brooch. Where did you get this? I've always had it. From when Lot first took me in. No, Rhiannon. Please, Merlin, give it him as my keepsake. I'll see he gets it. Oh, thank you. Now return north with your husband. Forget all about him. The king pursued me. And now the king may die. Don't say it. Go home, Rhiannon. Leave this be. That will be difficult, Merlin. Well, in time you'll forget all I carry that. his child. Clear that bed. Lay the king down gently. Uh, I'm dying. No. Majesty. I can't be dying. The sword of kingship broke. How did the sword break? Merlin should be here. Someone find the Lord High Wizard. What? Is, is that my blood? Hold on to my hand. The black dog came for me, didn't he? Oh, please, Majesty. I'm dying. I know I'm dying. Merlin will make you well. It's him that put this in my head. Now it's never going to be right. It's never going to be right again. I, you must try to rest, Majesty. Uh, Leave us, bed there. Uh, Merlin. I should have stayed up there on the hills. Shh. I have to get him. I have to get Keir. Well, there's plenty of time for that. Oh! Uh, Rhiannon! Where's Rhiannon? Left with her husband. She Arthur. can't leave! Ah. Uh, we need new dressings for the wound and then hot water. Yes, my lord. Does she know I'm hurt? You must try and rest. I have to see her. In time, perhaps. The black dog. Uh, yes. The black dog came it's for me. Right. And it's never, it's never going to be right. It's never going to be right. It's, it's... Oh. Bedvia. My lord. There is a chapel by a great well north of here. I want you to bring the woman you find there back with you. What woman, my lord? The king's sister. Of course, I knew nothing of any of this at the time, my sisters and brothers, for I believed myself above the petty intrigues of the wizard and my blood-crazed brother, toiling as I was in the house of the Roman god Jesu, doing what little I could for the desperate and the dying. Am I to tell the wizard no, my lady? Tell him he can sort his own mess out. Help me with this rope, will you? I've ridden many days to find you, and all the while... All the while the king is very close to death. The well may be deep, but wait until you taste the water. Oh, forgive me, my lady, but I, I must know your answer. Fond of him, aren't you? Uh, he is my king. Try some water. Every day, the king grows weaker. Not even Merlin can help him. You and the rest of Arthur's men burn whole villages. They come here to the chapel, the dying and the desperate. The king needs to vanquish his enemies. Well, if you could see the children, burned, stabbed, their fathers slaughtered, their mothers raped... But the king does what he believes is necessary. Then it may be necessary for the king to die. Surely as his sister. And then there are all the sightings of the black dog. The black dog. You've seen it? The king saw it. It attacked Arthur? No, my lady. He said it just stood there, waiting for the sword to break. The sword broke? Into a thousand pieces. Now that's interesting, Bedfair. Why didn't you tell me that before? Arthur. Merlin? How are you? Same as I was when you were last here. When were you last here? Yesterday. Yesterday? Don't try and remember. Where is here, anyway? These are the hills that all men yearn for and all men fear. No more riddles, Merlin. I'm tired of riddles. These are the hills of the underworld. The hills of Anwin. So I'm dead. Very near. I thought that sword of yours was meant to protect me. 
So did I. And Keir? He said I was a tyrant. I'm not a tyrant, am I? You acted unwisely. Arthur, you need to concentrate on coming back with me. I'm tired, wizard. Very tired. Look at me. It's all true, isn't it? Take my hand. There are people passing all the time. Take it. And they all know who I am. Please, Arthur. They pass me in their thousands. And the looks they give me. Blaming me. You can put this right, Arthur. I can't put them right, can I? I can't breathe their lives back into them. I'm like my father, aren't I? I'm a tyrant like Uther. You are the king. And now I have my punishment. I would look at it more as a lesson. And the lesson is what? Only you can answer that. I unleashed the black dog. My power in Anwin is very weak, Arthur. You need to follow me now. I don't want to follow you anymore. You want to run away, I know. But there's no escaping who you are in this world. Or in ours. The black dog came for me. I know he came for me. The black dog came to chew me up. Then you must find him. I'm scared, Merlin. It's good to be scared. A king can't be scared. A good king learns to conquer his fear. And if I come back, then what? We'll find out when you get there. Take my hand. You won't let me go, will you? Never. You'll always hold me fast. You must take it now, Arthur. Here. Oh! Majesty? Bedvere? Don't try to speak. Welcome back, little brother. Morgan? Shh, 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 shh. Uh, Bedvere. Majesty. Bring Lord Keir of Cantia to me. But, Majesty... Now. Immediately. Where's Merlin? Has he not returned? Returned? From the hills of Anwin. Is he sick? Oh, the spells he made are very dangerous. He's coming back, though, isn't he? Well, if he hasn't returned with you... Can't you do something? No, I don't have sufficient magic. Ah. Don't lie still. Will my wound heal, Morgan? With rest, only with rest. The poison spread very quickly. I have to hunt the black dog. No, your mm. injuries are too severe. Majesty, I have the prisoner. Kier. Majesty. Unchain him. Majesty, I really don't Unchain think... him. The sword cut me deep, Kier. Just kill me, Arthur, and have done. You are to accompany me. Accompany you? In one week's time, we ride out of this camp together. To do what? To find the black dog. There's no hunting shadows. Seven days. And seven days later, the two of them ride out. And what do you expect of me, Arthur? My friendship? I don't expect anything of you, Keir. You will never have it. My only regret is I didn't slaughter you when I had the chance. You could always try now. And dishonour the mercy you showed me. It's your choice. Not a day goes by, or will go by, that I won't wish to take your head. And those must be the terms of our truce. But I'm not sure it's what Hector would have wanted. How dare you speak my father's name? Your father died a noble death. My father died protecting you. And it was his choice to do so. Just as it was your choice to come to London when you shouldn't have. And then to lead my father to his death in a filthy London alley. I tried to save him. And you. Fine job you made of it. Let's ride on, shall we? For a day and a night they ride, past the Averbury Stones and higher still to the very summit of Silbury Hill. Eat some more rabbit. Uh, I'm, I'm not hungry. I commanded. Still commanding me, stable boy. Yes, Keir, I do command you. For I am your king, the God's own chosen. And no matter what enmity lies in your heart to warn me, that simple truth will always be so. I don't ask for your friendship, I don't ask for your trust, but I demand your fealty as your king. Now, eat. Since you command me, Majesty. <sighs> mm. 
You think Merlin will recover? My sister believes so. He looks lost in a deathly sleep to me. Then we must pray to the gods he survives. And if he doesn't? He will. But if he doesn't survive, if he dies, then where will you be, Majesty? Just eat. Black dog. He's calm, isn't he? The air grows cold. Stay here. Let me follow you. I need you to stay here. No, but I... Pass me the spear. I want to come with you. No, he's here. The black dog might kill me for you tonight. Now pass me the spear. Brother to King Leodegrance of Caerleon. Did you see the dog? The dog? He must have passed this way. Uh, we, well, we saw no dog. You must have. Can't you put the spear down and let us introduce ourselves politely? Who's in the cart with you? My niece. We travel to the Great Henge, to the camp of Arthur. What's your business with him? To seek his protection in returning my niece to her father. Tell your niece to show herself. Both of you are safe. You have my word. It's all right, child. You can come out now. I'm frightened. There's nothing to be afraid of. Is there, my lord? Nothing. And in the camp beside the ancient henge, a long sleeping wizard stirs beside a fire. Peace to you both. And welcome. I am Arthur, son of Uther. Uncle? Well, uh, introduce yourself, child. And in the camp beside the ancient henge, a long sleeping wizard now opens his eyes. I am Gwenva of Caerleon. And smiles. In Arthur the Black Dog, Arthur was played by Ben Wishaw and Merlin by Ian McDermott. The older Morgan was Jane Lapeter and the young Morgan, Eve Best. Bedvere was played by Sean Dooley, King Lot by Clive Russell, Bryce by Christian Rodsker, Keir by Nicholas Bolton and Rhiannon by Emily Wachter. Philip Joseph was Aidan of Kielian and Alice Ford, the Princess Gwenver. Music was by Zbigniew of Preissner, with additional composition by Lucinda Mason Brown. Arthur the Black Dog was written by Sebastian Bonchkiewicz and directed by Gordon House.